Okay. <laughs> So where do you usually watch the show? Do you get like advanced copies at home? Do you watch it with your friends and family? And what's the thing that's freaked you out the most that seeing it on screen for the first time just really disturbed you? Well, I'm usually on set with um, Abby, obviously, and um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't, you know, we don't, I don't get to watch it that often. But my, my deal is usually on, you know, on digital, or something. <laughs> whatever that is, you know, iTunes or something. Why do you watch it? <laughs> I'm telling. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we know. Well, Tom, do you know what's going on? We're usually at work, um, sort of. You know. We hear about it occasionally. I think uh, last the last episode that was aired, I actually I was off that night, so I watched it in bed. You know, sort of like in and out. I can't watch the whole thing. You know, I have like that actor thing where I watch some of it and then I'm like, oh, it's my scene. I got to change it to something else. Exactly. Change the channel. Um, it's a lot of fun though. It's a lot of fun seeing what everyone else is doing when you're not there. Seeing like his work. Beautiful scenes that were in the last episode, and Luke, and like all the new characters that have been introduced. So that's really refreshing because you're sort of like, what else is going on in this world? And it's nice to just have it flushed out. And I also think that helps when we go back to work to sort of see what's happening and how everyone is um, reacting towards it. It's one thing to read it, but it's another thing to actually see what that yeah. person did with that moment. And we're all on such a crazy schedule, we're not always together. So uh, that's. Surprised you. I mean, yeah, I mean, look, when I first saw the pilot, I was like, whoa, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, you know, it ends with something that I thought was super creepy, and, I, you know, I've been a, a fan of her since, you know, she did Express, so, uh, which is a movie I really, I really love for football fans, so, you know, it's, it's been amazing to work with, with her and, and Tom, but the show's scary, but I think the shocking thing is it's funny. I, I don't, you know, you, I, it surprises me every time to go from something where you're like, okay, all right, well, you know, a little bit of pee shout out, just a little bit. Just <laughs> <laughs> myself or nothing, okay? <laughs> <laughs> well, we started out, we started out in that. <laughs> You've done a lot of comedy in the past, but sure. your character is pretty badass and very serious. Yes. Um, do you like that? Do you want to see maybe some of that comedy? Uh, the comedy is your character. No, because I, I think that it's important, as Nicole said earlier. Um, I think it's important for us to hold the premise uh, to scrutiny. I think it's important for us not. It's a fun show, but I think the believability of it is something that she holds down so so wonderfully. But I also think that that's not. And where it's what it you is. Do. Yeah, it's what I do, and and also it's not what it is. I mean, when I go to a comedy, I go to a comedy. This show is not that. And this role is not that. So from an actor's perspective, I really feel like this is what this is, and I don't need it to be anything more than that. And uh, we, he's not Orlando. He's in his but first you can time. also be like devilishly funny because the comedy is sort of bred out of the ridiculousness yes. of, of of the premise and what you know what's coming to our yes. doorsteps, but sort of like landing for yeah. us. I mean, look. Part of the reason I stopped doing comedies, frankly, is because they became broad comedies. And I was always more interested in character-driven, reality-based comedy stuff. I was always a big fan of watching Tom Hanks make the transition from Bosom Buddies to, you know, big to what you see him do now, or even right. Forrest Gump, which frankly is not a comedy, but is a wonderfully funny movie. So I really liked when it's really grounded. So I think Irving says things that are really kind of funny, but he's not a funny person. Mm -hmm. So I like that, that he's not, you don't have to push for it and reach for it, and that's always fun to do. Hey, can you talk oh, about Mad TV for a second? That was how you started out. I mean, sure. from our comedy side, so I remember seeing you. Look, so, Mad yeah. TV sketch comedy show, different beast, you know? Yeah, it, it has very too. simple rules. Either you're playing some wild chicken guy, <laughs> or, you know, or you're doing, uh, it's about the premise of something that's funny. So different styles of comedy, certainly. But, you know, look, I think people don't know Robert De Niro now from Raging Bull. They know him from, like, Meet the Parents. Meet the Parents. <laughs> <laughs> you know, which is mind-blogging on a certain yeah. level, and I think that it's so great that we no longer have to pretend the audience is stupid. You guys are acutely aware of everything. You really understand what it is, and you really allow us to do different things, and that's, that's really exciting to me, and I, I really enjoy that, because I find her wonderfully funny. And it's going to be fun for me to see her in different roles where she gets to do that part of it. Whereas on this one, she's carrying so much of a really difficult balance, so it's fun. And when yeah. will Abby um, interact more with the fans? 
sure. and um, sort of breaking down the fourth wall. So, what's it like being on sort of a cult show where people are that obsessed and wanting to talk about it? I get to be a fan. <laughs> I mean, I'm a nerd. It's not, it's not real complicated. <laughs> Excuse me. I'll get ahead of myself. Yeah, so look, it's nice to break down the fourth wall because it was surprising to me that fans didn't realize that we, you know, we're human, you know, tricky just like anybody else, you know, or a Star Wars fan or what have you. So it's fun to sort of break the fourth wall and it's fun to know what the rules are, but I've always known what the rules are, so it's not really that hard. Um, and, and I he's like kind the of been like my entertainment papa. <laughs> <laughs> like, he's like, Nicole, so what you doing tonight? I'm like, oh, I'm learning my lines. He's like, do you have time to go online? What's going on? Like, oh, it's going to make me, you know, I'm going to be self-conscious. It's like, that's stupid. Connect with people. They want to know. So it's actually, and it, it's actually been really refreshing. Um, I'm learning a lot. It's cool. And, uh, <laughs> it's true, though. No, like, all all mess aside, he really has been connecting us and, and showing us how important it is. And I think, um, subsequently, the fans uh, feel closer and tune in and they care more. And they have a lot of interesting questions and, and ideas and things that sometimes we're like, oh, we actually didn't think about that. Like, I'm working on the script all the time, and yeah. I didn't think about that. So they have such great minds. It's great to connect with everybody. Well, we don't own it anymore. The truth of the matter is it, it belongs to all of us. And that's the most fun thing about any version of entertainment, now that the mediums don't really matter, it's that we own this together, your voice is as important as our voice, and not shutting that voice out is really, at least for me, what I wanted to try and do, now that digital exists, before you couldn't do it, and now you can. I love the relationship you know, with, between Abby and Ichabod and how it's evolved. That, the first scene when he's in the cell, and of course, the, the differences of culture and everything that he's unaware of was hysterical. But then watching the friendship develop a little bit, too. I mean, the arc you guys were playing, it, I mean, just the first season is amazing. Mm -hmm. What's it like for you? Well, thank you. <laughs> What's it been like for you to kind of take her on this journey as, with her sister now, too? I just feel so lucky. You know, you do the pilot, you have no idea where it's going to go. Um, if it's going to get picked up. And then, no, no, we're still talking. Um, <laughs> um, I know, right? The publicist. But um, <laughs> it, you just, the fact that I get a lot of episodes to connect and figure out what the differences are, I love that I'm a modern woman and he's from this other time. And then there are racial barriers. There's so many historic things that he hasn't seen happen. There are things that I'm not aware of, you know, that he's witnessed. I just love that we have so much to draw on and that we both have uh, so many resources as well at our disposal to sort of, you know, conquer the demons or whatever. Um, it's been great. And Tom and I actually, this experience parallels that in a way because we have no idea what's going on. We've never gone through this kind of thing before. And it's happening so, so like, quickly that I think um, it's, it's very similar. So... It's kind of close to our hearts. Well, you guys are rocking. Yeah. You're, you're doing I'm so right? sorry. I have to bring them up for a shot. Awesome. Just feel it. Was your chemistry with Tom like instant, or did they lock you guys in a room together? No. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I still don't know what the hell is going on. We have no idea. Thank you, thank you guys. Thank you. 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 Thank you.